Hello, this video is going to go over using multiple atlases that are shared between skeletons using Spine, and in particular the Spine Unity runtime. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over uh, my character setup for the Foot Soldier example, which is actually included in the Spine Unity runtimes uh, with some watermarks as an example. Uh, this character actually has a, a default skin included with the example for the white armor set. Uh, so this is going to be uh, an example of both skins uh, as well as uh, shared atlasing, so bear with me. Uh, inside of the folder structure that I use with my projects, I usually keep an images folder uh, adjacent to the actual spine project file that I'm working with. So inside of the images folder, I usually have another subfolder, one for each of the skin names, uh, or additional atlases. So in this case, I've broken this project into two pieces. Uh, the skin set, which contains all of the assets for the characters, uh, this character's particular skin, uh, and another atlas uh, for all of his equipment, uh, which in this case I'm going to show as being shared between multiple characters. Uh, so in this case, it's the weapons and the shields and the equipment uh, subdirectory, which will become its own atlas, uh, and the white uh, armored character set. So inside of Spine, it breaks out the same way. I uh, use relative pathing to the images folder. Uh, and the white skin has references to uh, all the skin placeholders, which then have reference to uh, the particular attachment that's also named the same as the skin for convenience. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create an atlas that meets the requirements of the white skin only. And this is why I keep these in separate folders. This is going to make life really easy. Uh, unfortunately, Texture Packer does not have all the options necessary to do this automatically, so this gets a little complicated, but uh, follow along the best you can. Uh, I'm going to take the entire white folder and copy it uh, into a directory I make at the very top of my working project called Packing, and put it in there. From Spine, I'm now going to go to Texture Packer and I'm going to browse to the packing directory and choose Select Folder on Packing with the subfolder white underneath it. And that subfolder is really important, otherwise uh, when we pack it, it won't know where the subfolder was uh, relative to our project. And choose Select uh, and under Output Folder uh, it's totally fine just to put it here for now, so it's now in the uh, example foot soldier directory. Actually, let's do this. Let's put it uh, in another folder called output. Usually I actually have my Unity project already generated, so I export it there, but I'm going to show that process a little bit later. Okay, so under atlas name, uh, I'm going to call this uh, white armor or something like that. Uh, under any properties, I turn rotation off because that's me. Uh, we definitely do not want combined subdirectories or flattened paths. You do not want either of those, those are very important. Uh, Pre-multiple alpha, standard unity stuff, and whatever other settings are necessary. Mm, there you go. Hit OK. Uh, and hit, actually, let's call this uh, foot soldier white. Uh, because that's the name of the project, that makes more sense. Uh, the name of the atlas itself doesn't actually matter, uh, only the path to the images inside of it, which is why you can name the atlas whatever you need to to make it easier to relink with your project once it gets into Unity. Choose Pack, so it's Pack and Complete. Now we can see in the output folder we have an atlas that only contains the elements of the white skin uh, for the foot soldier, and then an atlas txt for that. Uh, okay, so now we can go back into the packing directory and clear out uh, that. And now I'm going to go in and grab the equipment uh, folder and put that in the packing directory and repeat the process. And choose texture packer, output, and in this case it's going to be the equipment atlas. I'm going to choose pack and the rest of the same settings. So now uh, I can clear out that from the packing directory and in the output folder I now have two atlases 
uh, set up in there. Uh, so I'm going to move over to one of my other projects, uh, which has a skeleton in it, uh, named skeleton, because it's kind of ironic. Uh, and again, there's a similar setup here. Instead of having a skin, I wasn't planning on having more than one version of the skeleton, so I didn't bother making placeholders. Uh, so there's no additional folder called white here, but there is an equipment folder because this is the exact same data that I want to share between the characters. Uh, so I don't need to repack the equipment, but I do need to pack uh, the atlas that contains all of the skeleton data. So I'm going to go into my skeleton subproject into the images directory and select all the images that I need in that atlas uh, and copy them to my packing directory and paste them in there. Again, go to texture packer and choose my input folder, go to packing, choose my output folder, call it output, and rename the atlas to uh, Yes, skeleton, I guess. Uh, make sure all this stuff is still the same, we're good. And hit pack. And I don't need these anymore. So let me get rid of those. Go back to the output folder. So now I have three atlases. Skeleton PNG, foot soldier white PNG, and equipment PNG. Uh, and these should contain all the data for both characters uh, that will then get a reference to the equipment uh, atlas as well once we get back into Unity. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is export the skeleton data for the skeleton character uh, so that Unity can prepare to import it as a sprite. So I'm going to go to uh, the spine menu and choose export and make sure that create atlas is not checked because we already created the atlases uh, with the texture packer independently. Uh, I'm going to choose the output folder again here uh, and just hit export, and it should generate a skeleton.json file. Uh, choose export. There we go, skeleton.json. Uh, so again, this did, uh, did not generate any atlases because we already generated those independently. Uh, so this uh, JSON file doesn't have any reference to the original atlases. It just knows that it needs an attachment that matches a name that's now in one of these atlases. Uh, so I'm also going to go back to my foot soldier project uh, and I'm going to choose export again and we have our output folder already set uh, so I can just choose export and now we should have a foot soldier.json as well this is all of the data that I'm going to put uh, into unity so now in the unity project uh, I usually organize this by having a characters folder uh, sometimes I do this separately, so I have uh, shared atlases, and I'll put the equipment atlas into the shared atlas folder, and when we import that, it should have already automatically generated a nice uh, atlas, uh, spine atlas for us. Uh, and I'll usually create a subfolder for each of the characters as well, so I'm going to create a skeleton subfolder uh, and a foot soldier subfolder where each of their respective uh, data will go. So now we have uh, footsoldier.json uh, and footsoldier white atlas and footsoldier white atlas.png. Uh, so I'm going to take both of those, put them in there, generated some atlases, and now I can take uh, footsoldier.json and put that in the footsoldier folder. Now immediately Unity is going to tell me skeleton JSON import error because it's using multiple atlases, uh, or rather we designed it with multiple atlases, but it can't find all the information automatically in the same folder because the foot soldier white atlas does not contain all of the parts necessary for this character. So I'm going to choose select. It's going to tell me what I need to complete this character. I'm going to choose select again. Uh, and the first thing we do is select foot soldier white atlas. Uh, and it shows me that now I have one atlas selected and now I'm still missing the equipment. Uh, so I already know what atlas that's in, so I'm going to go back, uh, go to shared atlas and choose equipment atlas, and now the foot soldier is imported. Uh, let's pull up the, uh, there he is. Okay, so now this is a character using two atlases. 
Uh, if you notice in the very top of the skeleton data, under Atlas Assets, there is now two atlases referenced here, the Foot Soldier White Atlas and the Equipment Atlas. Uh, I'm going to go back and grab the Skeleton JSON file as well. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to grab the Skeleton Atlas first. So Skeleton PNG and Skeleton Atlas.txt. And put that in the Skeleton folder, so now we have the Skeleton Atlas in Unity as well. Now I can bring in the Skeleton JSON file, and again it's going to go through the same process. Uh, select the Skeleton Atlas as the base, and go in and find the Equipment Atlas as the next one, and now we have a skeleton uh, as well that's sharing the exact same atlas data uh, as the foot soldier. Uh, I hope that helps. I realize this is a little complicated, but that's how it's going to be if you've got shared atlases between characters and 100 different parts and so on and so forth. Anyway, see ya.